Hello, this is Alan Gilbert, Transportation Technical Specialist with Autodesk. And briefly here we're going to take a look at some grid to ground transformation issues relative to Kogo points in Civil 3D. So what, we're, what we have here in the drawing is we have a, a large corridor surface and corridor meaning existing ground corridor surface and we have a lot of points, Kogo points, down the center line, shot down the center line of this corridor. And really all we need is Kogo points inserted into the drawing. It doesn't matter if they came from survey or if they were inserted directly uh, with a text import into Civil 3D. Everything applies as long as you have Kogo points in the drawing. So basically we have a drawing set up with state plane coordinates. If I look under units and zones in my drawing settings, I have a standard state plane zone and currently my transformations are disabled. This is what I'm going to use to compute some grid to ground coordinates for those Kogo points. And just to show you that this surface and these Kogo points are in a ground based system, I'm going to activate an image, a backdrop image. This image is in a UTM grid system and it's in the correct spot relative to this state plane drawing. You can notice the surface and the points down the center line are off due to the ground scale factor. In this video we're not going to deal with transforming the surface. You know the the workflow would be more like uh, converting all the surface, the points that make up the surface with maybe a similar technique here. Uh, scaling them if you needed grid at this time. A lot of times you wouldn't need a grid at this time, you would potentially scale your image down to the ground and you would stay in ground. But this is just a workflow to show it doesn't matter which way, it could be grid to ground, ground to grid, we just want to be able to deal with the Kogo points back and forth. And currently they are in the wrong spot. So I'm going to turn off the image and I'm going to take a look at what I have point data wise. I have a point group for the ground points and I have two control points. I'm going to edit those Notice I have a easting column, a grid easting column, same for northing. They are the same for both because I have not set up a transformation yet. After I set up a transformation, if there is scaling, rotating, translating involved, the grid column and grid northing, grid easting columns will compute whatever the uh, scaled point data is. So this is our computation field. Uh, one big key here is to remember is the point will never display at the grid northing or grid easting location. It will only display at these locations, but we can label based on grid. We can export and move these points to a grid or ground, whichever way we're going. So let's do that. Go back to our drawing settings. So now we're going to go to the transformation tab and we're going to turn it on. We already have a combined scale factor for ground to grid. Notice our reference point. That first control point you saw, there were two in the drawing, but point 10,000 is going to be our scalar point. So we're going to scale about this point instead of the origin. So what we need to do here is we need to put the same coordinate, in other words we want to lock in grid and ground is the same at this point and scales uh, all the points as you go away from it. So we hit OK. Now let's go back to our prospector and look at those control points with an edit. So my grid east and northern are different for 20,000 now, which it should be and they are the same for point 10,000 which is what I told it to do. So at this point, and clear those, at this point I could label, I could use that grid, if, remember if we go to a point group properties in the style, I'll just look at uh, another northern easting, we have access to that grid northern and easting from a label style standpoint. So I could label this points grid and ground or, or just one of them for each point. Now what if I want to actually move these points over to a grid so that they match up with the image? Well one method is to go to output and export. I have access into the grid uh, northern and easting on an export parser, text file parser. So I'm going to go take a look at this one I'm about to use. Notice when I go pick what the column's going to be when it exports, grid northern, grid easting. Let's have that already set up. So let me close and I'll pick a destination file. And I'm only going to export the ground, just the points down the center line. Okay, 
So to see those, I'm going to just quickly bring them back in with a point creation to import text file, right back into Civil 3D. There's my CSV. And I'll go down and pick, I don't want the grid one because these are not, I don't want these to come in as grid now. They are actually just regular northern easting. Okay, so there we go. That looks good. We're going to add them to a new point group. We'll call it grid just to keep these separate. Okay, and for duplicate point, I'm just going to sequence from point 9000. So these are easy to identify. And name template there is fine. And we should see cocoa points appear just to the south and a little bit to the east of my original points. And let's see how that lines up with the image as I turn the image on. And there the cocoa points are right down the middle of the corridor, which they should be. So this concludes the grid to ground transformation video related to Kogo points. Thank you for your time.